Welcome viewers to the Legacy of Skanderbeg. Yes, I'm sorry called the uh, series Legacy of Skanderbeg and you probably will have seen that from the first episode since I recorded the first episode without coming up with a name first. Silly me. But anyway, okay, we are at war with Venice, which is lovely. We should be able to win this war and my goal here is to take Istria if at all possible. So let's just continue. Pretty much my plan here is to uh, keep repelling the invasions of the Venetians. They can't actually get land access to us because Austria has not given it to them, Hungary has not given it to them, and I believe Austria is actually... They don't like Venice, do they? Uh, it's friendly. Eh. But Venice has rivaled Hungary. No, Hungary has rivaled Venice. So yeah, they're never going to get access through Hungary. What's this? Somebody. We have vacancy in high position in the church administration of Lezzi. There's a churchman from a rich family who has made an offer. If we approve and back his election to a position, we gain a large contribution to our coffers. Some of the devout people claim this is sin called somebody. But what do they know? Money. Paper influence. Money. Give me that money. Give me those ducats. Give me those money. All the money. I actually forgot to do that last time. And while we're at it, let us recruit a general from the nobility and get some admin. Uh, not admin. What do you call it? Uh, get some military power from you. Can't we do anything with you? Cool. Who's the new general? Not bad. Not bad at all. But in the meantime, I believe Venice. How many transports does Venice actually have? 17. Cool. So they can't send an army bigger 17 at a time. Switzerland declared on Baden. Okay. Doesn't really affect us. And we want to keep our army together here. Ottomans will definitely... What are you doing? Serbia, Serbia, what are you doing? Serbia? No, don't do what you think you... Don't do what you're about to do. France declared on Aragon. What? Well, that's unusual. Why would you declare on Aragon? When you have all these free cores on England. Aragorn has no friends. Maybe that's why. Weird. I've never seen that happen. I've never seen France go on Aragorn. That's so odd. Oh no, Serbia, you're gonna do it, aren't you? I hope they don't. Okay, good. The Serbian fleet's gonna get annihilated. That's actually a good thing. Okay. Serbia, help me out here. We can do this if you help me out. Serbia? Serbia? Well, I think it goes past Serbia's army, but come on, Serbia, Serbia, Serbia. There we go. Good, you're on the move. You will arrive on 25th of March. It's going to be painful because you're arriving less than 25th of March, which means you'll take you another couple of days to get down here to Durazzo. Uh, Serbia, I wish you was attached to me. Serbia will arrive 29th for three days. So, so far, we've rolled a 7 to their 4. It's going to be painful though, because they're flanking us with a bigger army. Okay, here's Serbia's army. We roll a 9 to their 3. Acceptable. Could be better. Okay, a 12 to their 0. And sack one. Excellent. Well, we'll just keep doing this until they get sick of the war. Wait, I'm looking at my army here. Oh, we have enough spider work strength on Ragusa now. Now, I could ask for military access and try to on Dalmatia, but I think that's dangerous to do because what I'll end up doing is splitting up the Serbian forces. Yep. So I'm not going to ask for military access or so keep Serbia down here. As long as Serbia stays down here, we will at least be able to repel the Venetian army, which is pretty sizable. Pretty sizable to say the least. Nessa declared on Desmond. ODF doesn't exist anymore. Trailing of Novgorod is disbanded. Poor Novgorod. Yeah. Not working out for him. Novgorod. I haven't actually seen Novgorod successful yet in this uh, patch. Genoa declared war on Crimea. Wittenberg declared on Baden. Okay, here comes the Venetian army. 14k. Coming to Lezzi. Serbia? Come on, pal. Serbia, Alsace declared on Baden. 
I want Serbia. There we go. Serbia is coming up to my aid. First of June, and you will get on 14th of June. Plenty of time. No problemo. We get taking war score. We get all the war score from battles. I wish the war score from battles was worth more. Oh, I mean under attack. Sounds good. Negative two, negative two. They roll zero to our nine on fire phase. Sounds good. Followed by a ten to the negative one. Look at those numbers. You don't attack Scunderbeg, you fool. Stack wipe. Silly Venetians. Don't get sick of this war soon enough. What's my war exhaustion at? Uh, it's creeping up. But I don't really have anything to fear about rebellions. I'm actually trying to sign rebellion here to convert me to orthodox. Mamluks declared on Karakiulu. Well, good luck to you, Mamluks. If I'm really lucky here, the Mamluks will get strong enough to challenge the Ottomans, but that almost never happens. I mean, I've seen it happen before. Once, out of maybe like, I don't know, dozens of games. Dozens of starts. I mean, especially when you play as Byzantium, you see all the starts. Because you got try to start over and over and over again. This is pretty much as bad as Byzantium, probably actually worse, but we are much closer to the Holy Roman Empire, it's not quite as bad. Achieve religious unity, sort of fire paper relations, create proper fleet, very funny. We're not going to do any of those. We're not even going to stay Catholic, we're going to be an Orthodox nation in the middle of a Catholic Empire. Ooh. Okay, so let's do this. They're waiting to land in Zeta, we are going to stop them. Now, why did I park my troops in uh, Durazo? It seems like the AI will tend to try to land in a province which is empty. And I prefer if they land in Zeta or Lezi, because these two are mountains. Great Horde declared on Crimea. Well, Crimea's dead. Let's do it, Serbia. Come on. Menace, you're gonna land now. Okay, good. We have rolled a 14 to their negative 1. It's a slaughter. A 5. Two to three, okay. Could be better. Seven to their four. Stack white. What is the Venetian manpower right now? Venetian manpower. Uh, war enemies. Ten k manpower. What I could do, of course, once we run out of manpower. I mean, have they stopped breaking up yet? They have twelve mercenaries. Holy shit. Venice, what is wrong with you? Okay, if this keeps going on, okay? What I might do is ask for military accident and see if I can grab more. Because I would love to take uh, Dalmatia. It would be an amazing province to have. This is still being sieged down. They have 29%. Still so take a little while longer. Go down here. Uh, Monza is a piece of Friesland. Sure. I know I'm playing on slow speed here, but... Jeez, look how quickly they replenish the army. They went from 10k to uh, 19k, just like that. I mean, how many loans are they going through for that matter? Venice. I mean, they are Venice, so they are pretty damn rich. Um, score comparison. Venice has six loans. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus, Venice. That's just insane. Six loans. You just... Just no, you know, just no. Okay, landing 11k troops on Lezzy. Come on, Serbia, let's do this. Unlawful territory. Switzerland is up to the marvel unlawful territory. In Brascow. That's in Baden, isn't it? Huh, interesting. Okay, Serbia has come to my aid. Let's fight. Let's fight, you Venetian scum. Get off my mountains. So, we have rolled 6 to their 3. Could be better. A 10 to the 4. Okay, a 12 to the negative 4. Stack one. <laughs> oh man. And those mercs, they're not cheap. Oh no, they are definitely not cheap. Every time a man does this, even with mercs, he has to pay to remake those mercs. Those mercs cost like 30 ducats each. It's ridiculous. So, Serbia. Not Serbia. Good comparison, Venice. Habit rating. Still six loans. Venice. Okay. 13k army. I, I am tempted to like take Dalmatia as well. Because I can't take Dalmatia uh, without occupying the four, but I can't take Istria because it's isolated. It's a very weird gimmick of the game. 
I mean, ideally I can take more than that, but I don't see that happening. Maybe if Venice actually goes bankrupt, which is actually possible at this rate. It is possible. I mean, I wonder how many loads it will take to get Venice bankrupt. I'm gonna keep a close eye on this. Uh, let's unpause the game. Let the game actually go, you know, do stuff. Uh, Venice. Still six loans. So it'll still be interesting if Venice goes bankrupt. Uh, I'm not gonna accept this white piece from them, hell no. Venice. Hmm. Venice, where's your army? Oh! Oh. Oh. Venice is not bringing more troops. I think they are on the verge of bankruptcy. Okay, now it's time to strike. They're not gonna build more. They're bleeding cash. Bosnia, give me military access. Go, my Serbian friends. Go. And siege down Dametia. Venice is not building an army up. <laughs> they can't afford an army anymore. In fact, I'm surprised they haven't started to disband their, their uh, fleet. In fact, I could really turn this around and take so much more. I could try to take... No, I'm not going to be able to take Venice. They have a fleet. Their fleet's too strong. But this is really bad, I've got to say, for, um, for Venice. I don't fancy being in their position. Let's declare on Kyodare, okay. I could build another troop. Do I want to? Do I need to? Hmm. Oh, what's this? 7k on Lezzy. I can take out 7k. Serbia, you keep sieging. I don't need your help. We have Skanderbeg. Skandergod. He shall take us to glory and beyond. Come, Venetians. Come meet your fate. You roll a negative 4 to a glorious 11. Booyah. Followed by well, a 5, 2d or 0. Acceptable. An 8, 2 your 0. And shock, 7, 2 your 3, okay. Wow, that's pathetic. 3 to your negative 1. So, uh, 9. Holy shit, a 9 <laughs> to your 4. Uh, unfortunately, that wasn't a stack white. Sad. Makes me sad. Still, that's, a fi that's okay. Oh, you're dropping yourself off at Corfu. Candle is still holding on there. Serbia has claimed Lezzy. Oh, thanks, Serbia, the best. 40%. Because I know the moment Candle goes down, I'm almost certain the Ottomans going to come for me. I need to be ready. And I need to be ready by taking out Ragusa at the moment um, Ottomans come for me. It has to be that way. I want Ragusa so bad. Now, can I actually join the HRE while I'm at war? I think I can. Which means the moment I peace out Venice, I will or hopefully be able to join the HRE. No, I need a core on Istria first, so I need to wait for that. Novgorod, set a piece of Muscovy. Novgorod, we'll see it. Novgorod. Oh man, poor Novgorod. Has Vesta's army grown? It has not. Because they can't. In fact, are they still running on Mercs? Yes, they are. The entire army is Mercs, nothing but Mercs. Okay, we've matched relations with Austria. Let's go improve with Hungary. We can actually get a royal marriage with Hungary. Tempting. Let's do it. Can I get a royal marriage with you? Nope. Too many relations. Austria has too many diplomatic relations. Minus 50. I heard they changed that to minus 20, but I, don't, I, I never mind too much. There's a lot of other people complaining on uh, the EU4 subreddit and stuff. You can still declare Aragon. Yeah, Aragon's dead. Aragon is so dead. I feel sorry for Aragon. But yeah, if this keeps up, what I might actually do is just siege on all Venice and see what I can just take from them. I mean, if I can just take Dametia, Istria, I'm never going to be able to take Venice itself. But if I could take, I don't know, that's already a decent chunk of uh, expansion. But if I could also take Feruli, Treviso, Verona as well. Nope. Okay, so I could, if I really wanted to, take all of that and then join the HRE. It would be crazy, sure. But it will be amazing. And Vance does not seem keen on building another bigger army. In fact... 
What if I ask for military access from Hungary right now? It looks like... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and siege down that stuff. We had... Yes, we have a general here with siege pips. I'm gonna use you instead of scan the bag. Scan the bag and try to be safe. Oh, what do you think you're doing, Venice? I mean, Venice is truly not gonna try and invade me with... Oh, they have 7k troops. Okay, never mind. Uh, come back here. They, they're gonna try and invade me. Of course they are. Scan the bag, come on, let's... Hustle. Get there quick. Pomeranian clown Brandenburg. Really? Pomerania they clown Brandenburg? Why is Brandenburg have no friends? That's amazing. Smugglers running rampant. Lose ducats. Lose trade efficiency and national attack modifier until 1458. Sure. That's not what we have any to begin with. Okay, roll a 9 to the 3. This is not good as fighting in the mountains, but oh well. Roll a uh, 9 to the negative 1. Roll a 10 to their 3. 11 to their 4. Yeah, we're gonna win this. But I think I'm not gonna be able to siege anything down. Kando, except a piece of Ottomans. Uh oh. That's not good. Ottomans? Please stay away from me. Please. We have been warned by the Ottomans to not go to war with any countries. Uh, I am very much threatened by the Ottomans, thank you very much. Who has Ottomans rivaled? Mamluks, Hungary. Sure. Oh, are you gonna... Oh, I'm... oh, okay, never mind. Kaldare, accept a peace with Lannister. I thought that the army was gonna just, like, retreat to Dalmatia, but nope. Oh well. That'll be wanting too much, I suppose. Do I have military access through Austria? I don't believe I do. I do not. That's fine. I have two free diplomats. Have I fully improved with you? No, I haven't. Keep improving with those Hungarians. As for my other diplomat, um, this may seem oddly familiar, but let's improve with you. I want to be able to eat right to Ferrara straight after because uh, they got another central trade here. Yes, ideally I want to move right into it, the Italian peninsula and play effectively as the Italians. I mean, I turn back and always know CB Africa, but. Let's not do that. Okay, man, that's what you're gonna do now. Okay, we hold the fort in Dalmatia. So now what I'm going to do is say, I want Istria. I want all of this, uh, not that. Give me all Venice. Come home from Milan. I'm gonna ask for military access from Austria. It will see my, my, uh, Friends in Serbia is not helping out anymore. How big is the army of Venice now? 4k. 8 mercs. So take their sweet time replenishing. Do they have even more... Uh, what do you call it? Because I can probably peace out right now. I can... Okay, not for these two obviously, but I can peace out for these two. I can even peace out for this. And I'll be happy to say yes, but if I can see on all of this, I can grab everything I ever wanted. Okay, so what I'm going to do is ask for military access from Austria and start sieging down their fort. Cool, so I'm going to go to Istria. Serbia will hopefully siege down Treviso for me. This is a pretty good start, I have to say. Pretty good. War exhaustion is pretty high. It's meh. War exhaustion is just a number. Yep, that's fine. I can invest in military tech. I shall. So now I'm military tech 4, which is stronger than the Ottomans, amazingly enough. Ottomans declare on Dokidir. Ooh, that's interesting. So they're expanding further east rather than attacking me. It's odd, I have to say, but not unwelcome. I like that. I just have to keep a close eye on whether Venetians land on my shores. They do not appear to do so. Hungary to on Venice. Interesting. Hungary declared on Venice. 
Okay, well, we just have to beat them to the punch before they grab anything. So I'm going to leave one troop on Feruli. I want that. Oh! They have an army there. Shit. Uh, hmm. We can win this fight, but that was an unexpected fight. I didn't, wasn't expecting anyone there. It's not worth the fight. Retreat. It's not worth the potential casualties. That's a forest. They're going right into Hungary. Okay. Good, I guess. Okay. Nope. Don't walk into that cavalry. That was seriously unexpected. I didn't even have Scanderbank with me there. Serbia, what are you doing? Come on, help me out, Serbia. Help a bro out. <laughs> I'm the bestest of bros you can ever ask for. Serbia? Okay, they're going to siege on Istria. No, they're not. No, they're not. Okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is tense. Ramazan declared on Dokadir. What's the point? Ottomans are sieging out everything. Why did he declare on Dokadir, you fool? It's a bit late. You should have done it earlier. And I think with that, I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time for more of The Legacy of Skanderbeg. Until then, see you later.